क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फाइंड द आइडल इंडेक्स नंबर फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा फॉर द ईयर 2015 आइटम्स आर गिवन एंड यूनिट यू कैन सी देयर इज अ डिफरेंट यूनिट्स आर गिवन द बेस ईयर इज 2014 एंड द करंट ईयर विल बी 2015 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस सो फर्स्ट जस्ट राइट डाउन द आइटम्स एंड हियर फॉर यूनिट यू कैन सी द 20 केजीज आर गिवन फॉर द प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी यू कैन सी इट इज गिवन इन द केजी सो क्वांटिटी वी कैन राइट डाउन directly with the 10 kg and the 15 kg and here we'll make a changes for the 20 kg here we'll make it in the 1 kg that is 120 divided by 20 you will get 6 and 280 divided by 20 it would be 40 here our first row is ready next is 5 dozen Where the price of five dozen is two hundred twenty, and three dozen is given. With one uh, here, the price of five dozen is one hundred forty, and here directly the four forty eight pieces is given. So let's change it into the dozen. For one hundred twenty, just divide like for five dozen one price is one hundred twenty. For one dozen, how much? Remember the cross multiplication. That is one multiply by one hundred twenty and divide by five. So you can directly do the calculation. By one twenty divided by five, here you will get twenty four dozen. Here first we'll write down dozen twenty four, and for here the answer is directly given, so we can write it down three one forty divided by five to turn into the dozen that is forty eight, and here pieces are given forty eight pieces to find out from the pieces that. Divide by twelve pieces of dozen of one dozen. So how it would be how much? Like forty eight divided by twelve. Here you will get four. Next is kg is given where the price four and eight and in the quantity five thousand grams and the four kg is given. Now from this the price is equal. Remember. The word. If you are making any changes in the unit, you have to change in the price. But here you can see the unit is given in the kg, so the price of kg is given. So directly we can write down for the price four and eight kg, four and eight, and we'll make a changes in these grams. But here four kg is already given in the quantity, so here also we'll take directly the answer four. The only changes we have to make is a five thousand grams. Now for this, remember how thousand grams is one kg. So just divide with the thousand, you will get the correct answer. That is five kg. Here three rows are ready. Moving to the fourth one. Here the five liter is given, which where we need only the one liter. Remember the unit should be in the one. So here price of five liter they have given fifty two. Here the fifteen liters are given forty eight and twenty liters. So let's turn the first unit. And we'll make a changes in the price. If I want for the price of one liter, the equation will be for five liter fifty two price for one liter how much? One multiply by fifty two divide by five. So just indirectly just make a divide by five with fifty two divide by five. Here you will get for the liters ten point forty. Same for the another price. Just divide by five, you will get eleven point sixty. For this two quantity will be written as it is fifteen and twenty. Now you have to make your table ready with the information of base year and the current year. Now as per this information. Here they have given to find out idle index number. Remember that is Fisher index number. So for Fisher index number, first I'll write down the formula and the information. The formula of Fisher's index number, as they have not asked for the last person partially, I just took this information. If I take this uh, last person partially, then also it doesn't make any difference. The answer will be same. So first we'll continue with this column P one Q zero, where I'm going to multiply this two. That is. One forty three into forty eight, eighty four forty and one seventy four. Here I get the total four thirty eight. Next is P zero Q zero. The multiplication of these two columns six into ten, sixty twenty four into three seventy two 
4 into 5 20 and 10.4 multiplied by 15 that is 156 here we get the total 308 next is p1 q1 that is 14 multiplied by 15 210 and just continue with the next 232 and here i get the total 586 the last one is the p0 q1 means this two column will get multiplied that is 90 96 16 208 and the total is 410 so here all the informations are ready let's put into the formula under root 438 divided by 40 sorry 308 multiplied by 586 divided by 410 multiplied by 100 get them divide that is 1.4221 multiply by divide this to 1.4293 into 100 get this multiply 2.0326 into 100 remember remove the root first that is 1.4257 and then multiply by 100 here your answer is 142.57 question number six find partially and the fishes index number for the year 2015 with the base year 2014 using the data given below as we can see in the data here the items are a to e is given and for the year 2014 price and total expenditure given same for the 2015 for total expenditure this is not needable for the solution of your uh, lespers and the fishes index number here we need the quantity so to uh, convert the total expenditure into the quantity i will show you the formula and another thing here you have to notice that no units are given so we can take the price directly from the column and out of the total expenditure we will find out the quantity now to find out the quantity Whenever the total expenditure given, you have to convert it into the quantity because as total expenditure is not needable in the formula. So look, total expenditure divided by price, you will get the rate of quantity. Same if the price have to be find out, the total expenditure have to be divided with quantity. Now out of this, the total expenditure divided with 100 for the year 2014, you will get the base year quantity. That is 400 divided by 100, you will get... 4 same next one that 500 divided by 100 you will get 5 the quantity next 600 divided by 150 4 continue with the next after completing this for the 2015 here we have the total expenditure and the price Total expenditure divided with price, you will get the quantity for the current year. That is Q1. You will get 6, 5, 5, 5 and 4. After getting this information, now we will turn switch into the formula. In this question, they have only asked partially index number and the Fisher index number. So as per the formula, here I am ready with the columns. So for P1, Q0, that is P1, Q0 will get multiply. 120 multiply by 4, we get 480. 120 multiply by 5, 600. 160 multiply by 4, that is 640. 6 into 5, sorry. 200 into 6 that is 1200 300 into 4 that is again 1200 next for p0 q0 now here the column p0 and q0 will multiply 100 into 4 400 100 into 5 500 4 into 150 that is 600 6 into 180 that is 1080 4 into 250 that is 1000 for p1 q1 now this two column will get multiply 120 into 6 that is 720 5 into 120 that is 600 
5 into 160, here we get 800. 5 into 200, 1000. 4 into 300, 1200. Next is the P0Q1 means P0 get multiplied with the column Q1. 6 into 100. Here we get 600. 5 into 100 that is 500. 5 into 150, 750. 5 into 180, 900. 4 into 250 that is 1000. So here we get the total of all 4120, 3580, 4320 and 3750. After getting the total here I am going to keep into the formula. I need a total of P1Q1 and P0Q1 means this two column. That is 4320 divided by 3750 multiplied by 100. The, Calculation of this will 1.152 multiplied by 100 and here we get 115.2. Next is Fisher index number. Just take the information that is 4120 for P1Q0, for P0Q0, 3580 multiplied by P1Q1 that is 4320 and for P0Q1, 3750. Five zero. Let calculate first this. The division of this two will be one point one five zero eight. Multiply by division of this two will be one point one fifty two into hundred. Multiplication will turn into one point three two five seven into hundred. Remove the root. That is one point one five one four into 100 after the uh, after removing the root here with the answer the answer will get at the end now don't forget to practice illustration 13 14 15 and 16